Hi, it's Paul Maunder from Production Expert. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to quickly load a video file and audio from an AAF or OMF into Pro Tools in under a minute. Let's start with the audio. Here I've got an AAF file and an OMF file, and the AAF is what we call non-embedded or externally referenced. That means we have a relatively small AAF, you can see it's 4.9 megabytes, and several accompanying audio files. The OMF file, on the other hand, in this case, is embedded, which means all the audio is contained within it. So let's have a look at how we quickly import the AAF file. You can right click on this and choose Open With. In my case, Pro Tools is already set to the default, so I'm just gonna click on this, or I could have just double clicked it. I'm just gonna go with the default name of Film Trailer Mix. It's WAV 24 bit, 48 kilohertz, create. Where do I want it to go? I'll put it on the desktop. There we go and it's now setting it all up. Here we've got the import session data window. You can see a list of all the tracks in there. Some of them are mono, some of them are stereo. There's even a 5.1 track. And I'm not gonna change anything in this window, but I will point out the fact that generally under audio media options, it's best to choose copy from source media if you want the resulting session to have all of its audio contained in its audio files folder. Then just click okay and it's gonna import those tracks, usually pretty quickly. It depends on the size of it and it depends if your drive is quick or not. But there you go, the AAF file has been imported. Now let's look at a method for bringing in a second file, in this case, the OMF. So let's go to that. And with this, I could either drag and drop this into the open session or I could choose from Pro Tools, File, Import Session Data. Let's do that. Let's track down the OMF file, open this. And once again, we have a list of all the tracks. In this case, they're all mono, but just for illustration, I want to change one setting. Rather than having it mapped to its absolute time code, I want to map the start time code to, and let's say I want this to start at three minutes into my session. Click OK. It's going to bring it in. Let's just zoom out, put it on new tracks. There it is in my session. So now we've got the audio in place. Let's bring in the video. Here I have a video file, and you can drag and drop this from anywhere. However, generally it's a good idea to drop it into the video files folder for your session, only so that if you transport that session and move it somewhere in the future, it's easier to keep it more self-contained. Now you can either in Pro Tools do file, import, video, or quicker than that, you can just drag and drop it into an empty space in your session. It's gonna bring up the video import options. And in this case, I'm gonna drop it at the session start. I'm not gonna bring in the audio from the file because that's already in the session. It's going onto a brand new track because we don't have a video track yet. Click OK. There it is. The video is in the session along with the audio. Thanks for watching.